Get a check locker. I just got my equipment defender trimmer racks and I'm gonna show you guys how to install them because I can't find anything on YouTube how to install in a properly way but I'll try to make a quick video of it. Everybody on YouTube talks about how good it is, how how real heavy duty is that thing but you can't find no information on there how to install it so I'm gonna try to make a quick video how to do this kind of stuff. It's complicated, frustrating, I don't know how people can send this shit out like this. So this is the package I just got, just got yesterday. This is my equipment defender trimmer racks. You're gonna have to go through all this kind of stuff right here. I'm gonna have to cut it off. I mean they are saying a little plain as paper right here, just plain. Not enough information where all the bolt, all the screw goes. This is kind of frustrating. I wish it, if it comes with uh, good information, I mean it tells where all the screws at. It's only going to show you a couple stuff here. And that's pretty much it. And you have to figure it out on your own. So I went to... To Harbor Freight, I'm gonna have to cut off half the metal. Right here, six, six inch. I'm gonna have to cut it off right here. Basically, you're gonna have to probably use one of them stuff right here. I don't know how you call it. I don't know. Anyway. You're gonna have to measure from here, so this is where um this is where my trailer racks right here I'm gonna have to go up six inch from here so I'm gonna have to cut it right here measure it you can measure it with this much easier right here from there six inch Self drilling, hex bolts, lock nuts, hex bolts, lock washer. The thing is, ain't no direction where all this bolt goes. The plan as instruction right here. Wish they make like a better instruction where everything goes. I mean, it'll make it more easier on us. Right now, I'm trying to cut off everything here. I cut this off. I have to do it by myself and cut it off where I can get it on this side. It's crazy. This is your carriage bolt right here. I mark it where I'm gonna where this gonna go. I'm gonna have to treat it with uh with the uh, let me see with the eleven by thirty two drill. This is what you're gonna need. This is electric drill. This is all the stuff I got right here for all this stuff. Even that stuff out there. And I'm gonna drill right here. Make sure you mark it with the marker. All right, let's get it start with. Never mind, I didn't use the uh, 11 by 32 drill. This is a 3 by 8 drill right here. Since I already got my whole mark, I'm just going to drill it in here. Got it in there, gotta hit it with the hammer.
That's it guys, that's how it needs to support to stay. Here's the ball right here. Messing up my plywood with this thing. Alright. I got the two bolts down here. So I gotta put the washer, I guess this is the washer right here. And this is your nut right here. Yep, it fits perfect. I don't know. Use a 17 millimeter hand ratchet right here. It'll fit on this this nut right here. I cut my hand last time, guys. So my hand kind of hurting right now. Can't really do shit with this hand. Alright. Do my best. I gotta move yard tomorrow. I'm trying to install all this rest so I can put all my echo here. Alright guys, I haven't even got done on this thing. The reason why I have to grind this stuff on the back because it won't fit perfectly. I already got this bolt in here. But the thing I grind off the one right here in the back. I pen a little bit because I grind it up and so that way I can fit it perfect because if not it's gonna be sticking out, it's not gonna it's not gonna be uh, standing up straight. It'll be leaning on a different angle. So I have to knock so many holes on my plywood. I'm gonna have to change the plywood later in the future. I'm ruining my trailer, I'm ruining my plywood, everything is a mess. Got those just the bottom one. Alright, I got one in. This thing is kind of shaking. So you're going to have to fix that on your own. Probably like that. Make sure in the middle, I don't want it to be. I wish somebody got some information on YouTube how to install this crap. This pain I ass putting this shit on. I'm telling you. People will just put up stuff on YouTube. This is good stuff. This is what you need to order. I mean, it's worth it. But I mean, how it's worth it if you don't show us how to install this kind of stuff. People will put up some stuff how good it is, how, how strong, how dependable. But ain't no information how to install it. Alright, hopefully this helps. Now it's stiff. I mean, this is another bullshit right here. How are you gonna stay this stuff? I'm getting closer there, guys. The thing I did, make sure you guys put this on first. Don't just don't just put those two like one time, because you're gonna have trouble adjusting it. I did this one here first, make sure it fits. This is how it comes out. So, 
Where I'm gonna drill a hole right here. It's it's right here. As you guys can see, that that's what you need to do. Mark it, and I have to grind it back off here because it was way too back in here, and it, it goes out that way. So right now, it stand up perfect, same as that one. Time to drill it in. We got a jacket longer. We're out here moving 7 o'clock in the morning. Making that money, guys. I'm going to show you guys around this equipment, the fender. How it turned out. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you guys think? I think this thing is pretty solid, but it's paying the ass to put this thing on, I'm telling you. I haven't put the mounting engine yet. I'll do it later, but I got, I think I got this thing straight. It doesn't shake at all or anything. Pretty good solid thing. I have to grind this thing back here so that way it fits back in here because it was way far back in here. I grind it and level it up with this thing here. 